with the Boeing Company, and I'll be your uh, master of ceremony tonight, this evening. And uh, I just wanted to express that it's my honor and privilege to be the uh, sales director for Boeing, looking after one of the greatest airlines in the world, Ethiopian Airlines. Wow. I can tell it's going to be easy for me to get you guys to clap. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Ethiopian Airlines is uh, currently known as the uh, as ET. So, throughout most of the uh, talk tonight, I'll be referring to Ethiopian Airlines as ET. Uh, we're here to actually to celebrate one of a, another first for Ethiopian Airlines, and we'll we'll go into that in more detail. There's a very uh, long list of firsts for Ethiopian Airlines through the, in the world and actually in, within Africa. Uh, but tonight uh, we're going to have a, celebrate the first delivery of their 777-200LR. Uh, the name is called the Blue Nile. <laughs> Clap mark. And one of the things that we tried to do tonight was to actually have this event in the Museum of Flight, which is a very special place in Seattle, uh, covering a significant history of the aviation industry and a lot of it uh, being Boeing history, but uh, throughout the aviation history. And, and that's to reflect on the history of Ethiopian Airlines and what they've done for aviation in Africa, which is an unparalleled success. Uh, we, we also have the honor of having uh, some very special guests tonight. Uh, basically, the entire leadership team of Ethiopian Airlines is here tonight, with the one exception of the, uh, the new CEO, uh, Tawalde, which he uh, is back in Ethiopia uh, managing the airline, so somebody has to do that. The rest of the team actually came out here to have a party. Uh, so I'll start by uh, introducing uh, the Chairman of the Board of Management of Ethiopian Airlines, His Excellency Otto Seum Mesfem, at the head table up here. So with Otto Seum, he's joined by the ET's Venerable uh, Otto Germa Wake. And we'll, we'll talk more about Otto Germa later. <laughs> we also have some very special guests tonight. Uh, Otto Germa's uh, three daughters are here. Uh, four daughters. Three. Three are here. <laughs> he has four and he's got a son. He keeps him busy. Uh, Seble, uh, Herut, and Aida. Uh, I won't. I won't spoil the the uh, announcements a little bit later. But they're here for a very special reason. So it's great for me as a actually a Boeing traveler. I travel quite a bit to Africa. Um, I spend almost half my time traveling to Africa. So it's actually kind of nice to be back here in Seattle. So I'm really glad to be here in the uh, cold rain. <laughs> Uh, we actually had the ribbon cutting yesterday. Uh, everybody had an umbrella. It was pouring down rain. About 30 minutes after we got done, it cleared up. <laughs> it's a nice day. But, uh, so uh, at this time, what I'd like to do is introduce a very good friend of Ethiopian Airlines. Um, if you go into his office, which I actually took uh, Ato Seum and Ato Gurma into your office today, Isan, that you didn't know. Uh, and you look in Isan's office and every wall has a memorabilia of Ethiopian Airlines. So Isan, uh, I'd like to kick off the festivities by offering that you come up and offer a toast to Ethiopian Airlines. Thank you, Rob. So I have, uh, I didn't think I was going to be doing this, but uh, Marlon Daly, my boss, thank you for sending me up on stage to do this. But Marlon, uh, knows, and not just Marlon, everybody at that table knows how special Ethiopia has been to me and continues to be to me. And not just Ethiopia, but Ethiopian Airlines. My very first trip to Ethiopia was back in 2002. And the um, first time I went there, I was wondering, why did I get the assignment? And I can tell you, I didn't have very happy thoughts when I was told I was going to Ethiopia. But ever since, 
uh, I count my blessings every day that I have met Ethiopian people, that I've met Ethiopian Airlines, that I've worked with Ethiopian Airlines. And it's been such a special, special, uh, special thing for me over the years. And uh, so much that a lot of my Ethiopian friends don't know me as Isan, but Chernet. And I'll explain to my Boeing friends later what Chernet is. <laughs> And to some even more special friends, uh, I'm known as the uh, Faranji Habasha. <laughs> and I'll explain that also to my Boeing friends later. But I think our Ethiopian friends know exactly what I meant and what I said. Uh, so tonight we're here gathered to celebrate a very, very special, very special, another first, which is the 777-200LR delivery to Ethiopian Airlines. And ever since I've been working with Ethiopian Airlines, learning about how great of an airline it is, I knew that they deserved an airplane that is worthy of a great airline. And the only airplane that was missing was that 777. And they went all the way, not just any 777, but the 777-200LR. So congratulations. Congratulations for yet another first. And I raise my glass with all of you to say thank you and congratulations to Ethiopian Airlines. Here, here. And I think you can see it out there on the right, yeah. my right. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cheers. So with that, enjoy the evening. When Otto Gurma and I first started talking about this event, we were in an Ethiopian restaurant listening to Ethiopian food, eating Ethiopian, or listening to Ethiopian music, eating Ethiopian food. And I immediately said, well, if you're coming to Seattle, we have to do a Seattle type event. So tonight we're doing a traditional Pacific Northwest. One of the things that um, that you pick up on when you when you walk around and you talk to people is there's just a, a tremendous amount of energy and there's a there's this there's this huge connection uh, between uh, Boeing and Ethiopian Airlines and Boeing and Ethiopia. Um, I had you know, the opportunity at our table to, to talk to Mike Cave a bit. And, you know, Mike Cave, um, you know, a hugely uh, capable individual from Boeing. And Mike is so proud of the fact that he was actually involved there uh, when we signed the, the 787 agreement. And, you know, you, you could just sense that, 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 that pride and that energy um, and, and just a this wonderful feeling that he has for Ethiopian Airlines and, and Ethiopia. Now, you look back at the, the history and, you know, it's been referenced, there's been a few firsts that, that have actually occurred uh, with Ethiopian Airlines. And, you know, I, I love it personally because, because um, I, I love the history of the Boeing Company and I mean the Boeing Company uh, to the greatest extent of the Boeing Company. But our, our relationship uh, was first established in the mid-1940s when Ethiopian Airlines acquired that, that uh, wonderful uh, Boeing product, the DC-3. Yeah, I, you know, uh, but you, you look at the early photos of the airline and you see that, that beautiful airplane. And we are proud of that heritage. Uh, and, I, and I mean that in all seriousness. It was obviously a, uh, a Douglas DC-3, but it, it is part of the Boeing Company's heritage. And it was, it was the beginning of a long relationship. But the Boeing heritage, or uh, the Boeing-Boeing relationship, was really, really started in the 707. And the first, I mean, Rob, you did a great job of pulling this together. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just read a few of these because I, I think it really captures the... Uh, just what a terrific airline this has been over the years. But it's the tradition of holding the first. The first on the continent to operate the 707. The first on the continent to have an indigenous jet captain, Captain Alameyu, 707. The first on the continent to fly the 767. The first Western carrier to fly to China in the early 70s. The first on the continent to commit to the 787. The first and only African carrier featured in our corporate annual report. No, but this is even better. 
the first and only carrier on the continent that made money in 2009. Yeah. And also equally impressive, the first African nation to have more than 150 descendants working at Boeing in Seattle. And I, you know, I was talking to Otto Mestin today, today, tonight at the reception, and we, we, we touched on this point because it seemed like everywhere I turned, I was being introduced to, to an ex-Ethiopian Airlines employee that was working for Boeing. <laughs> and, and so Otto Mestin, you know, he made a comment about, you know, this just, we've got to figure out how, to, how, how we can prevent this from continuing to occur. <laughs> And then I, I ask him, uh, and I hope I don't get you in trouble, but, uh, but I ask him, I said, well, well how, many, how many of your engineers do we get on this trip? Because we, you know, we're in short supply of engineers. And uh, he laughed and he said, only me. So welcome on board. So, again, um, with this 777-200ER, or LR, um, this, air, this airplane um, is, is such a capable air, airplane. And, you know, it's, a, it's an airplane that uh, we pointed out tonight at our dinner table. It has the capability of, of flying from Seattle to Addis Ababa nonstop. So, Yes, yes, it's coming. So, so tomorrow it's going to fly home and it's going to stop through the other Washington. But, but our plan is to eventually figure out a way to have a revenue flight from Seattle to Addis Ababa. So, um, you know, to close out, I, I just really want to sincerely uh, thank Ethiopian Airlines and Ethiopia and all of our business partners. For, for believing in us and for partnering in us, uh, with us. Uh, because uh, without you, this airplane would not have been possible. Um, and you have always been there when we needed you. And I, I hope that you feel that we have always been there when you needed us. So thank you very much and uh, safe journey home tomorrow. Wow. We're here tonight, uh, I think it's only appropriate that we, we honor uh, an incredible um, individual that's had just a, an amazing career uh, and just tremendous contribution to, to aviation in general, uh, to African aviation, and to Ethiopian Airlines. And I'm talking about Otto Gurma. <laughs> that Otto Gurma is actually um, worked over 46 years in, in this business. Uh, and, and as I, I mentioned, his contributions have, have been just spectacular. Um, for Ethiopian Airlines, uh, the, you know, the, the airline that he holds very dear. Uh, and he's, he's very proud of what this airline has, uh, has accomplished. Uh, I, I was just in awe. I'm not surprised because I do know this man, but I was absolutely in, in awe. And you know, he came back to an airline that was struggling, an airline with this great legacy and a great history, but it was struggling. Uh, and he's turned it around. And you, know, you, you see that he was able to manage this airline through the worst economic crisis that certainly I've lived through, uh, and he did it, did it profitably. So um, it's, it's, with, it's with great uh, pride that I can call Otto Verma my friend. Uh, and it's with sadness that, that he will be retiring uh, at the end of the year. But it's not the last we've seen of him. I'm sure he'll be back, and he is always welcome. Always welcome at Boeing, and he's always welcome at our home. So, Otto Gurma, thank you for all you've done. So, so Isan, would you mind coming up here? And um, Otto Gurma, would you please come up here too?
Now, um, we put together a, a little feature presentation um, to honor uh, Otto Germa, uh, and it's a little bit of a slideshow. And so I just wanted the two of you, uh, very close friends, to accomplish a lot together, to be on stage so we can experience this together. So, but we have something for you to take away, and I, and I hope you can find a, a nice uh, place to, to put it. We, we were really, we spent a lot of time thinking about what, what type of a gift should we give um, Otto Germa. And we decided that, um, you know, through his leadership, uh, in many ways he was, he was really at the, at the wheel, guiding and, and leading um, Ethiopian Airlines to in, in establishing a, a great trajectory for a tremendous future. The growth has been tremendous, uh, and the airline is in an, an amazing place. You know, I always, I always reflect back on, you know, a measure of a great leader is that when you, when you come into a situation, you leave that organization as, as a much better organization than when you, when you stepped into that role or position. And you, we can clearly say that, that you've done that through your leadership. So we've got a little something from the Boeing Company. I hope you like it. This is a, a control wheel from a 707, which was the, the first air, airplane or type of airplane uh, which was, was operated by Ethiopian Airlines. Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? Okay, it's working. Great. So it's, a, it's the control wheel from a 707-300, uh, and this is uh, the real thing. Um, uh, the team actually found it in somebody's backyard, um, and we actually we actually know the airplane that it came off of. It was a 707-300 control wheel from serial number 17677, line number uh, number 88. Um, it was an airplane that was originally uh, purchased and operated by TWA, and TWA in Ethiopian Airlines has, have a long history that goes back to 1946 when they entered into the joint venture and they, they, they helped establish that partnership. And so the plaque says, and we got a nice picture of Otto Germa, which some of you may or may not recognize. We had this big debate uh, with Isan. Uh, Isan said, that's not, that's not Germa, it's not Germa. I said, yes it is. Um, Germa, is that you? <laughs> Okay, and, and the plaque says, uh, to our dear friend, uh, Otto Germa, thank you for over 40 years of partnership and friendship. Your friends, uh, your Boeing friends, November 2010.